Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am finally going to be sharing my thoughts on the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's get into it. All right, so as you can probably tell, I am still fighting this cold. I'm feeling a lot better, but I am still very congested. So I do apologize for my voice, but this is the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Jellyfish Palette. So they did release three different palettes and one sort of customizable palette this year. So they have the Owl, which is the empty palette that you can put any of the other color stories into. They have the Jellyfish, they have the Leopard, and they have the Snake. So the Jellyfish is the lightest of them all. So that is the one I picked up. They also had the Leopard, which I thought was super, super cute packaging, but it had a lot of repeat shades and is also a little bit deeper. And then I believe the Snake is the deepest and I believe the snake has the most new shades as well. I absolutely hate snakes with every fiber of my being so I knew I didn't want that packaging and I kind of wish I would have customized this one into the owl but otherwise I think this is really really pretty. So this does retail for 90 US dollars or 130 Canadian if you order off Hourglass's website. These are now available at Sephora Canada and retail for $122. So for the best value for my Canadian subscribers I would wait until the Sephora sale get that 20% off the cheaper price. If you are located anywhere else, they do have a discount code, which is, I believe, unlocked VIP 20, which will get you 20% off. I got that code directly from Hourglass as like a, hey, sorry for all the shipping delays, but I did see it circulating this week as well. I imagine that's how the code kind of got out there, but it will save you 20%. So these do have a 12 month shelf life and are made in Italy. And this is the inner packaging. I do think it's beautiful. I love that they started doing this more animal themed artwork. I love that they always come in these heavy palettes and have this giant mirror here. I think if you're somebody who is not a mass makeup consumer, I think this something like this could last you all year long until the next one. And I can totally see some people doing that because these are such a fantastic value. So with this one, you get two finishing powders. You get diffuse light and ethereal light. And then you get two blushes. This year we have Rose Fusion and Diffused Heat. We get the bronzer in Lunar Bronze. And we get this highlight, which I believe is a brand new shade in Opal Strobe Light. So for me, this is a full face. I think this is beautiful. So the only shade in here that is a repeat shade for me is Diffused Light, and I have that in their face palette from 2020. So otherwise, these are all brand new shades. So let's take a quick look at some swatches. So we have Diffused Light, Rose Fusion, and Opal Strobe Light. Such a beautiful combination. Then we have Lunar Bronze, diffused heat, and ethereal light. Just such a beautiful combination of shades. If you're as fair as I am, I think the Jellyfish palette is going to be absolutely perfect. Let's get into applying this to the face. So I am gonna start with the bronzer. So currently I am wearing the House Labs Foundation, uh, the Lancome Concealer, and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder, and that's it. So let's put this on the face. And you can see this is a really, really beautiful light bronze. It's definitely not too orange. I feel like it's a little bit warmer than the one in the Holiday 2020 palette. That one was called Natural Bronze Light, and that one had a bit of a reddish undertone to it, which I personally enjoyed. This one is a little bit warmer, but it's still really, really nice for fair skin. I know these hourglass powders are so hyped up, but I do think they offer something special in the way that they, they just look airbrushed. Okay, so that is the bronzer. I think it really does look bronze, but also fairly natural. Again, just look, gives such an airbrush application. I just think it looks so beautiful. For the blush, I think I want to use Rose Fusion, which is this one in the top row. 
And again, it just looks so nice. I feel like it's hard to go overboard with these blushes. I am over applying just a little bit so you can kind of see, just so you can really see the colors. But again, it's just really hard to go too overboard with these. All right, next I wanna dip into Opal Strobe Light. I feel like I'm going to really, really like this highlight. That's beautiful. See, it definitely gives a shine, but it's not glittery, but it also blends with the blush very, very well. It's so pretty. That gives such a beautiful sheen to the skin. All right, to finish off, I'm gonna go in to Ethereal Light. I think I want this one on the center of the face. I will say I do love their finishing powders just because they're so lightweight. They just kind of melt everything together. But the way that some powders can kind of end up making your makeup look a bit cakey, these never do that. They just add such a pretty healthy glow. They are exactly what they describe themselves to be in that they're just a beautiful finishing powder. Let me pop off camera. I'll finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be back to share my final thoughts. All right, so the rest of the makeup is on, and I have to say, I am really loving this palette so far. So I have used this before today. I've been playing with it since I got it. Again, I love the selection of shades in here. I think this is so beautiful. I think this is perfect if you have very fair skin. I think this will be great for fair to light skin tones. I think we will love this. This bronzer is a little more on the warm side, but again, it's not too warm where it just looks orange, but it does definitely add some warmth to the skin. Both of these blushes are absolutely stunning. The highlight, I absolutely love. I love the way it's got that pinky tone to it, so it kind of meshes into the blush really well. And I really, really love the finishing powders as always. Those are always such a favorite. I think they give the skin such a beautiful, beautiful finish. So. While these are so super pricey, if you're able to grab one and you want to, then I don't think you'll be sorry. I really do think these are absolutely wonderful. I didn't purchase the last couple of years just because I still have a lot left from my 2020 palette. I do have a larger collection, but last year I had a lot of regrets after I didn't pick up the Elephant palette. So this year, I did not want to have those regrets, so I just grabbed this. I've been toying with the idea of getting the Leopard palette. I probably won't, but I've been toying with the idea. I just think Hourglass makes some really incredible powder products. I think they're absolutely amazing. And I think if you're going to grab them, then this is definitely the way to go. To purchase their one of their full-size powders, whether it be a bronzer or a blush, they're so pricey. They're between, I think, $40 and $50 for a single powder. That's just too much. In here, you get six, and it really lets you test out their full range. So I love picking these up. I think they're wonderful. And again, if you're wanting to purchase off the Hourglass website, I'll leave the code down below. But if you're in Canada, wait for the Sephora sale because that is the best time to get the 20% off plus it's a slightly lower price tag. So I think these are wonderful. If you're considering picking these up, I'm not going to tell you not to. I think they're great. But that is it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm so sorry this video was so late. The shipping was so delayed on this one. Again, they did give me 20% off to save on my next purchase, but let me know down below if you're planning to pick these up. Did you already? I love hearing from you guys so, so much. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!